Yo guys, what is going on? It is your boy Nick from On The Foot Market. Happy Saturday morning. Uh, welcome to the channel. Welcome to another video. Um, today's video is going to be very centered around account management uh, and just a foot discussion. So if you guys are ready for that or if you guys enjoy the video, drop a thumbs up. Um, yeah, so we got to talk about a lot because I had a lot of stuff in my account that I have to sell. Like, so I have to cut the losses on some things. And we're going to kind of be honest with you guys and talk about those losses and things like that. Um, now, really quickly, guys, um, I would like you guys in the comments down below to answer a question of mine. And my question to you is when after the week, after Ultimate Team of the Season, right? Do you think EA is going to run a promo or do you think the game is just going to chill and kind of die a little bit? Like, what do you guys think EA is going to do? This is going to be the week after uh, this week. So it'd be the week after League One Team of the Season or after Ultimate Team of the Season. So it'd be in two weeks from now. What do you think? What do you guys think EA is going to do? Do you guys think EA is going to pull out a promo, try to make some money, but also keep people in the game? Just let me know because I'm curious. I don't really know. I haven't heard anything. Um, really quickly, though, I will tell you guys, I have heard that ea is going to do a promo i heard this a few months ago it's going to be called the summer of foot um now i heard that i last year obviously we had festival of football that was in august but the summer of foot was more centered towards i think copa america so do you guys think i mean i was watching copa america last night i was watching the brazil game do you think ea is going to roll right into uh that sort of thing i'm not really sure but let me know what you guys think and because I, I love your thoughts man i love when you guys put in the comments and i love when you guys interact with me and we 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 kind of figure out together of discussion of what we think could come anyways um i tried out pele yesterday uh on stream i actually bought him i paid 5.7 million flat for him i sold him at 6.1 overnight it wasn't fresh otherwise i would have listed higher to be honest man two players in fifa that i wish were really good that aren't good and that's gonna be pele and messi i i can't use messi either something about messi for me is not good and i thought i used prime pele earlier in the year and i thought that maybe the moments card would be even better um i i really can't use this card man i don't i don't know it's just it's brutal it's really brutal um i i literally struggle with the card i can't really do much with it and it just doesn't feel good man it, the, the card does not feel good um to be honest with you guys it just it doesn't seem like a card that i really can get along with um and so yeah i i really feel like it's not it's not an amazing card um so it's a little annoying right but at the end of the day at the end of the day it is what it is right so that hole it right there i'm actually thinking about buying uh he was just 8.5 i think it just got bought yeah i was looking at buying a hole it but to be honest it's 500k tax so it's not really worth it because you can only make like 300k on the card so other than that guys bobby moore was some profit zyx was some profit if you guys have been watching my channel you guys would have known that i've had kimmich for like three four weeks man i like since boone is a good team of season I've been trying to invest in some cards out of packs because that's obviously like a theory of FIFA investing and that does work. Nah, it didn't work with Kimmich. It didn't work at all. Um, these De Jong's I actually had. I had bought these before rewards on Thursday and I just, they didn't work. It was bought them at 535, so I got a tax loss on those. Um, Lewandowski was some profit. Hazard was some profit. Sarabia was some profit. Um, same with that other Lewa. I had to take the loss from Bruno Fernandez. I had one of my club for 165, so not really fun. Tellez, I had one of my club for 480, bro. Oh my god, I had to take some losses on some of these cards. It's ugly, boys. It's a little ugly. Now, the Dybala, the Royce, the Aubameyang, a lot of these were profits still, which is good that we're keeping money coming in as we take a loss. Um, so all this kind of stuff here was kind of some profit. Nothing that crazy. This was from Weekly Rewards. Um, I, I wanted to tell you guys, I did the tally of the final of how much I made from Weekly Rewards, and I ended up making about $1.4 this week from Elite Rewards. So very good. Koulibaly really saved us. He really helped us get some coins into the club uh or yeah getting we don't like we need coins but and then we've got uh we've just got Vieira and Hullet in the club now I don't really think they're gonna go um and then I'm, I'm working on clearing out my club guys kind of thing guys just to just to polish up a little bit man I feel like my club is a little bit all over the place and I've had some cards that I need to take losses on for like probably a week or two now that I haven't done and I it's hard taking a loss man because you you don't want to impact a few things man you don't want to impact your leaderboard you don't want to impact coins going down and it's just it's hard man it's hard to take a loss on cards it's not the easiest now the one thing that has helped me a little bit is that a lot of the cards that i have in my club are fresh not all of them but a good amount of them are fresh so that's been helping me a bit um but like yeah like you guys see man it's not that it's not that fun some of these cards man this resilient is like 105 i bought that at 145 so some of these are tough to take man they're not easy to take i would 
if you guys, if this motivates any of you guys to take a loss with me today, go for it. So be it. Um, <laughs> you guys can take the loss with me. I think some of the cards that I do have in my club are fresh. So that does help a little bit. I'm going to have to get out of this Carvajal. Hall. But it's not the worst, right? You just got to do it sometimes. Um, and it is what it is. Now, in terms of the market, guys, I kind of feel like the market is weirdly like on an edge about to fall off. I really do, man. I feel like it's weird right now. Like when I was trading last night and when I was looking around the market, the, ca the cards on the market just kind of feel like they're about to fall off a cliff. Um, I don't know if that's going to happen soon, but it just, it seems like, man, it seems like everybody has bought their teams or has players for their teams. And it just seems like the demand or the buying power on the market is so freaking low right now. It's so weird, man, but it's, it's my genuine feeling about where the market's at. It just doesn't feel like people are out there like you know, kind of buying cards like crazy, which has been the it's been kind of been the case for a few weeks now, where people have just been kind of going onto the market and buying stuff like a madman. So, I wouldn't be surprised this week if we saw a little bit of a downturn. Um, I, I wouldn't. I'm going to talk about some of the League One players with you guys today, but I just kind of wanted to include that part into this video because I just feel like something feels off about the market just a little bit, man. I, I just wanted to talk about it because I mean. Look, I don't think you got a panic sell, but I think the fact that, like, that hullet I just sold you, right? So that rude hullet, guys, and I know a lot of you guys don't trade with cards on that budget, right? You shouldn't because it's too much. But that rude hullet, uh, ladies and gentlemen, that hullet, oh, 245 on rate. That hullet um, has been religiously selling at, like, 9.3. So the fact that it sat on the market and it expired, you know what I'm saying? It sat on the market and it expired about a little while ago tells me that there's just not a ton of buying power on the market. Um, that's just the, the end of this end of the story of what that tells me. There's just not a lot of people on the market buying. Um, you've got some moments cards taking significant cuts in price. That's really low for this card. Um, Vanessa Roy down at 688 is really low. Um, he's usually about a 740k card, so that's very low for him. Um, so you've got some cards already today that are starting to see slight shifts downwards. Uh, which all makes sense, right? It's not something that doesn't make sense to me. Um, now, other specials like Neymar, things like that have exploded. Now, I want to talk about Neymar. I want to talk about, before I talk about Neymar's team of the season, before I talk about all those cards, I want to talk about Neymar's team of the year and Neymar and Mbappe's team of the year. Okay, so these cards, in my opinion, Neymar is not going to drop under five at all. I don't think that's possible because I don't think his new one is going to drop. I do think this is more the desirable position for a good amount of people, even though the central version is a lot easier to move around. Mbappe is interesting to me for the reason that, so I think Neymar guys, I think that left mid or the team of the year is not going to drop below six is my, or five is my opinion. Now this exploded. Um, this is going to stay a little bit higher because the new one is not as good as this card, even though it's a striker. And this is a desirable position for Mbappe. So I also don't understand why EA I don't understand why EA dropped a worse version of Mbappe at Team of the Season, but a better at Neymar because Mbappe had the best season. So I don't really understand. I don't really understand it, man, but I guess it is what it is. Um, just doesn't really make sense to me, though. That's really cheap. I'll get that. 139, Jaden Sancho. That's so low. So he's been like... 148. Let me see this. That's really cheap. Jaden Sancho. That is super, super cheap. 148. Wow, he was 151 yesterday. So that's a, yeah, it's like a 100K undercut. Wow, it's very good. Um, so that's what you're going to want to be on the lookout for today, though, man. Like, I'm, that, that's exactly my point right there. This is, there's kind of going to be a, a, a looming sell off going on on the market. Um, you know? There's kind of going to be this just background sell-off going on. And you guys are going to want to look around and t take a look at it. Because, wow, so Cristiano Ronaldo is 7'6"? No way, man. So this card is going down a ton. 7'6". Oh, my God. <laughs> so I, what I did see today was I saw a Twitter post from somebody that said they were selling their CR7 to try Neymar. That's what I think a lot of people are going to do. And just being honest with you guys, I feel like a lot of people are in that scenario where they want to try Neymar and they're going to sell CR7. Seems like the vibe to me. I don't know about you guys, 
But it seems like the vibe of that, that is what would make sense in terms of like what people might be doing right now. Um, there's going to be sell-offs in other leagues so people can go and try different cards. It only makes sense that that happens. You guys can see Benzema's down a little bit. Wow, Benzema's 104.5. So a lot of these cards are going down a bit. So uh, I wanted to go back and talk to you guys about Neymar and Mbappe and obviously some of these League 1 cards, right? Because they're, they're desirable. A lot of you guys want to try these cards. A lot of people want to know what's up with the prices. There's a very good chance that today or tomorrow they are lowest. Um, there's a very good chance. There's a very good chance that tomorrow morning or tomorrow, yeah, tomorrow midday, they are cheapest all week. Um, that's kind of been a little bit of the trend so far with a lot of these players that they're cheapest on like the second, third day. Um, in terms of target prices, I don't have that for you guys. All I don't, all I know is I don't understand how Pepe's 1.9, but it's just got to be the card rarity. This guy was 1.3 last night. And now he's 1.9. People are paying that much for a three-star weak foot player, which just confuses me a bit. But you know what? FIFA guys are going to do what FIFA guys do. Um, I think in terms of like fullbacks, Mendy's going to stay pretty high. Lala will stay pretty high. What you have to know about Lala just in terms of his his card is that his pack weight is going to be higher. I don't know what's up with his card, but his card, like Kenny Lala in FIFA always has a ton of pack weight, like high. So just watch it. Um, just see what's up. I know a lot of people probably want Lala, probably want Mendy, um, are probably interested in some of those cards. Uh, so just, just, just watch it, guys, is what I would say. Marquinhos, uh, Marquinhos, Thiago Silva, Depay is interesting. I wanted to talk. I'm going to talk about the weekly objectives in the SBCs in a minute. Um, so you can just watch Mbappe, and Neymar. I think Mbappe, and Neymar. I, look, I don't love buying any of the big boys in this team of the season because ultimate team of the season is next week. So next week we have the team of the season. If you guys don't know already, ultimate team of the season is the team of the season where um, everybody. Uh, that is the best, quote unquote, gets re-released. So they're gonna put in Neymar, they're gonna put in Mbappe, they might put in Cavani, they'll probably put in another player from this league. So just keep that in mind that next week all of these cards are gonna get re-released, which means there's gonna be another round of supply for all these cards. That's a very big deal, guys, because any card you're looking at right now is gonna potentially get another uh supply on the market, which is a big deal, man. That's not a that's not anything to like uh, you know ignore that's a very 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 big deal um you guys should be careful with any tradable players you have from each of the top five leagues that's usually what gets re-released in ultimate team of the season i'm just trying to give you guys a heads up in terms of like what gets re-released what doesn't get re-released that's usually what gets re-released in ultimate team of the season it's going to be the top five either the best five or the most desirable five um the most desirable five cards in the in the in any team of the season uh at all so just watch it Keep it in mind, boys, and, and slowly adapt towards it. Be careful with buying any cards today. Don't be a crazy guy like me and just buy cards because they're down. It seems like a lot of people are selling just to sell. It seems it seems tough out here, boys. It seems like people are, are bleeding a little bit for coins. There's certain examples where you can see cards like in the Bundesliga, like Jovic, and these kind of cards actually dropping a ton. Like this Jovic is 860 right now. There's some cards that are getting absolutely slaughtered in price. Um, that were like selling at a mil plus the other week. So just be careful guys. I'm warning you your boy is sending you a nice warning that It's real out here, man. The market is getting uh There is a sell-off going on right now and it's in the morning Which is the craziest part that there's actually a morning sell-off going on right now now in terms of other things to talk about In terms of other things to talk about my lovely people um Let's discuss the weekly objectives, right? The weekly objectives, uh Score using League One players and four separate rival wins. I, that's not bad because you're going to play rivals with Neymar and Mbappe a lot of you. So this should be very doable for a lot of you guys. You get a free team of the season. Uh, win four online single matches using 11 Argentina players to earn uh, this team of the season. I like that. I think that's easy. I think if you are interested in getting him, that's very easy to do. Um, I don't know if you guys are interested in that kind of thing. But this is definitely going to take only like an hour. And if it's first goal wins, it takes you 10 minutes. Um, win four squabble ma matches using 11 League One players. Now, this Dembele card looks decent. The only thing I'm going to tell you guys with this Dembele is he's got a two-star weak foot. Keep that in mind. Two-star weak foot. Uh, Depay is another one that I will be reviewing on my second channel this week, so stay tuned for that. That will be up on my second channel at some point this week. I've got to wait because it's 800K. Um, I've got to wait till I start doing League One packs so I can craft them and get them, uh, and get them all crafted. Now, the only problem with that card is when you look at it, just the three-star weak foot. That's the only thing that I look at the card and say, wow, that might be a little bit of a turnoff. It's just the three-star weak foot, guys. That's the only thing I really see with the card that could hurt the card or not make it as good as it really could be. Other than that, you got the five-star skills to go with it, and you have some good 
good good stuff there to see if he's really good. I think this guy is going to be very good. Um, I will get you guys a real deal, real deal review on him this week because I'm curious about how he is. Um, and yeah, so that's going to be the video today, guys. I'm not going to keep you guys here forever um, at all. Thank you so much for watching the video today. I appreciate you guys. See you guys in the video soon. Peace out.